Hello my crafty friends. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be using up some of my authentic is it Sea Maiden paper. And while I did not use up all the paper and all the stickers, I did want to show you what I did create. These are the items I used. Island Indigo ink, Tranquil Tide ink, some Tranquil Tide paper, um, Tulip Red ink to make paper. I'll show you that in a minute. My Embossing Buddy to reduce the stickiness of the stickers. The Waves Embossing Folder. The You Are Mermaising stamp. This was a Hero Arts add-in for the May 2017 kit. And this You Are One of a Kind, My Kind, and Friend to Friend. This is from Hot Off the Press. And these Nouveau Drops, I was going to use Emerald City, but I chose to use White Blizzard, and I will show you that card shortly. And then I used my Stampin' Up! Corner Punch for one of the cards. This was the very first card I made. I, this was one of the cut-aparts. There are two sheets, and on the back is a real pretty pearl design. So I might use the pearl design next time. I'll just use the cut aparts this time. But when I saw this, the redhead girl and the blonde haired girl, I immediately thought of my bestie. And so I'm going to be sending this card to her. And I use sequins, which, to be honest, I have only used one other time since I've been crafting and stickers and this is Tranquil Tide with the embossing which you can't really see but I know it's there friend to friend and some more of the stickers this is another cut apart with some of the plank paper Sequins, stickers, you are mermazing, and one of the stickers. Actually, there was a little ink boo boo there, so there you go. That's what embellishments are for, right? And then this one again, this is Authentique Sea Maiden. They uh, specialize in the vintage papers, which I love. And you can see the wave paper a little bit better here. And I angled the cut apart. And this is the paper from the key, from the uh, set. You are amazing. And I haven't decorated it yet, but I will. And then here, this whole thing was a sticker. The, the really pretty outer oval and then the inside of it I took and wiped down with my embossing buddy got rid of the stickiness and then I popped it up on foam tape this is one of a two pack I used up the other one and so I grabbed this one but there's your sequins and stickers you are amazing stickers this one I did sideways because this is a very big sticker and so what I did was I stuck it on a piece of red paper and kind of a, I tried to get as orangey of a red as I could to to match and then I just trimmed an inch around fussy cut to make to make that and then since it's mermaid paper, I can't, let's see. Here's the mermaid paper, and the other side is just writing 
kind of what you would use for a scrapbook page. You are amazing. And here's some more stickers. And then this one was the one I took. I did, I couldn't find, like you said, the, this one wasn't quite orange enough. So what I did was I took a piece of white cardstock and I just rubbed it with this tulip red, which is more orange. And then I matted this cut apart. I think it matches really well. And because this lady was posing, I went ahead and used the sentiment, you are one of a kind, my kind. And I put stickers. And then I rounded off these two edges. Okay, last but not least for this set. This is where I chose to... The bubbles were turquoise. And so I thought... I initially thought I wanted to use Emerald City. Which is just more turquoise, but glittery. But then I thought, no, let's use... Let's use the White Blizzard. And I tested one first... I did this bubble yesterday and I let it sit and because of the color underneath it did show so that's what I did with these so they're still drying and so I this is yes <laughs> tranquil tide paper from Stampin' Up and all of these card bases are, are made with a set of uh, Blue and turquoise, it comes in one package, 100 pound cardstock, and then this, this, the authentic paper and the cut apart of the beautiful mermaid with the little angelfish. And I do need to put, I forgot, I just noticed these, I need to put more uh, Nouveau drops on here. And I haven't decorated or stamped in the inside yet because I'm waiting for these to dry. So anyway, so here's what I have of the stickers. And I have one full sheet that I did not use. And that's this one. And then it's got sand on the back. So I could probably make some with this side and some with that side. So here are all my cards using the authentic collection and my Nouveau drops. If you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you share it with a friend. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing because I'm coming up with some process videos really, really soon. And I don't want you to miss out. So have a wonderful day. Stay safe and stay well. Bye-bye.